Ripple is taking DeFi into their own hands. I believe this is going to be the unlock for the virtuous cycle for XRP to start to creep up in price over the coming years, right? So XRP has to gain organic adoption, all right? Somehow, some way, it, it escapes all the retail narratives, right? Retail narratives drive a lot of price action in the crypto market, even though XRP fits the description for the majority of the narratives that go around. It doesn't see the price action. People don't see the value in it. They don't understand. And I'm here to set the record straight today on these topics. Let's get into it. Ripple taking DeFi into their own hands. We saw from Ripple Swell that they are uh, opening up staking to their custody clients. Check this and out. And finally, we'll be adding an integration with staking platforms so that uh, customers who have assets sitting in the custody product will be able to earn yield on those rather than having them uh, just sit there idly. So what does that mean? It means if you're an institution, if you're an enterprise, or if you're another crypto company and you're using Ripple for their custody, you are now able to gain yield from your assets stored with Ripple. So where does this get interesting, okay? Obviously, they store XRP for people, they store Bitcoin, they store root network token, they store a lot of different uh, crypto assets in the custody service, including stable coins, okay? So if you're able to do this with Ripple, that means they are going to be the specialists underneath the hood actually allocating the capital to the DeFi platforms, to the staking platforms. Now it gets interesting because we know for a fact Ripple has been educating central banks on cross-border market making using automated market makers on the private chain. So this means that some of Ripple's loyal partners, doesn't matter if it's just 10 to 20 of them out of the hundreds, they are going to be utilizing automated market makers on the private central bank uh, digital currency network. The central bank digital currency network that is the XRP Ledger private chain is the quote unquote heartbeat of Ripple's CBDC business. Ripple is the leader at building out central bank digital currencies. Not all nations are going to want a CBDC. They might just prefer a stable coin. That's fine. All right. But with the standardization of global payments and global stable coins, they all have to interoperate. That means the Ripple and the XRP ledger is not going to be left out, even if you think there's no value in their network. They are going to be a player in the game. The XRP ledger idea is going to survive as long as Ripple survives. Even though the XRP ledger seems to uh, evade every retail narrative, even though it fits the freaking description, the XRP ledger fits IP because of the root network integration. Okay, the root network burns XRP. It is a side chain of the XRP ledger. The XRP ledger has another side chain, the private central bank digital currency network. XRP is over there. XRP is on the root network. XRP will be on the EVM side chain. XRP will be flowing through all the Cosmos ecosystems that have DeFi indexes. So we are starting to see storage demand storage demand is extremely important to understand get that word embossed into your mind because it is what institutions need from these crypto assets they need storage demand they don't just need great tokenomics they don't just need use cases it has to fit all the criteria of an investable instrument and what is an investable instrument to institutions what is causing them to want to hold digital assets in the first place is the ability to beat inflation that is the name of the game for institutions institutions are yield investors they are long term investors they are conservative they are slow they're not going to jump in on retail narratives we have to understand this XRP will find its value through its virtuous cycle. Number one, the biggest, most important part of that virtuous cycle is storage demand. 
where are we seeing storage demand? We're seeing storage demand through the automated market makers. When RLUSD is launched and they have the amendment to be able to claw it back if necessary, RLUSD and XRP will be an absolute bombshell of an automated market maker liquidity pool to be a part of. And I guarantee you, because they're allowing their custody product to be able to stake and to be able to engage in DeFi, they're taking DeFi into their own hands, that they will be allocating capital on behalf of Ripple and on behalf of their custody clients into DeFi protocols to create yield. This is a business case for digital assets. That is storage demand for institutions. We see the, the space expanding rapidly. We see other blockchain companies out here getting a lot of adoption. Number one, I'm an investor in them, Chainlink. Number two, Axelar. These networks are getting a lot of adoption. They meet all the criteria as well, all right? But why am I so adamant about Ripple and the XRP Ledger? Number one, it's because there's now storage demand for XRP Ledger. Ripple is taking all of this under the hood and doing it all themselves. The cherry on top of all of this is when the Ripple payments get brought on chain, regardless if it's on the private chain or the public chain, this is going to bring good data to the XRP Ledger. It doesn't matter to race all the other blockchains. The world is massive. The financial system is extremely massive. If you are up to date on this technology, you know that the nature of blockchain technology is to literally absorb fiat, to absorb the traditional financial system. And with these deflationary tokens, it will put pressure on inflation in the real world and we will live in a less inflationary environment due to the burning mechanisms of these crypto assets and traditional finance integrating into these new markets these blockchains that all have specific use cases the xrp ledger is a great dex great for payments uh chain link great for interoperability same with axelar there are multiple winners in these ecosystems. In these different categories that blockchains fit into, there can be multiple winners. A lot of people in this space think that just because there's other people playing in this space that there's going to be one main winner that is nonsense. How many payment apps are there? You got Cash App, PayPal, all these different Cash Apps. You have Apple Pay, Google Pay. You have, there's like 20 main fintech payment apps in the world right now. If you were an initial investor in them, you would have made money. Simple. When you think about the XRP ledger and what place it fits in, it is more of an infrastructure layer. The DEX is the use case. The central limit order book is now the use case. Following Ripple, you're going to follow their stablecoin business, you're going to follow their custody business, you're going to follow their payments business, and you're going to follow what they're doing with their clients. But I'm telling you right now, the secret to understanding the truth and what's going to become of the XRP ledger, if you have enough money invested in XRP and you have to get to the truth, you have to get to the bottom of it, you need to be following Ripple X what they are doing in the blockchain world, integrating the XRP Ledger's DEX as a super DEX for multiple blockchains to source liquidity. That is where it fits in. This is the use case of the XRP Ledger. Along with its multiple blockchains surrounding it, increasing the TVL, making more deflationary on the currency itself, storage demand for Ripple's D5 business that they are now launching along with the ETFs and the trust products, we have storage demand. Storage demand is going to attract investors. When investors are attracted to the XRPL ecosystem, they are going to spread their roots throughout the ecosystem. They're going to learn about the root network. They're going to learn about the endeavors of Ripple X. Okay. It is very complex 
very confusing. But if you understand this virtuous cycle and how increased TVL is going to bring investors, new investors is going to increase the amount of liquidity on the network. The more liquidity on the network, the more transactions, the more velocity, the more burning of the tokens. This is going to cause people to learn about the DeFi on the XRPL and it's going to attract arbitragers. And once all of this is in place and functioning, which it's happening now, we're going to see the price of XRP rise in value over the next 20 to 30 years. That is how it's going to work. It is a long-term investment. That doesn't mean you should take your eye off of the entire market. That doesn't mean you should only be invested in one token. That would be insane. There are multiple different avenues to invest in this market. I teach them in the private group. All the links are below. If you are a newcomer to this space, I'm your man. You can put the link below to get all the education you need. It's really that simple. I'll see you guys on the next video.